SMT Nation. We're doing some AT&T C-band testing here, some N77, 3.7 gigahertz. All right, now in terms of the description of the site, very residential, lots of homes. Uh, we are in Strongsville, Ohio. I'm doing like a deep dive into this test. I don't know if you guys can see it back there, but it's at the top of that tower site. Verizon is on that site. T-Mobile is on that site. All of them have C-band N41, N77 uh, upgrades, so they got all the mid-band. And I think what we'll do is... We'll go ahead and just do a, a C-band testing, the N77 for AT&T, and I'll give you guys kind of a, kind of like my first tests and impressions. You see the 5G Plus there. Uh, we'll do some Ookla. We'll do some Fast.com. We'll do the, um, the NPERF testing as well. And I did some testing, some nighttime testing. I got that over on Patreon, but I wanted to also do some daytime testing just to see if it's a difference in performance uh, time of day and you know kind of as time goes by how they optimize the site uh, but it's the downlink from this distance which it's probably I don't know maybe a half a mile away so it's real close the downlink's great and the uplink has been like I'd say subpar for sure all right so let's see what we got we got 578 on the downlink 11 on the uplink 22 millisecond ping 12 millisecond jitter no loss um, measured there for whatever reason connecting to that server. All right, so um, we'll run another test and we'll see how it does. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do like the, um, the video test here at the bottom through the app. And then we'll go ahead and check out the fast.com. Then we'll do the nperf and you know check out some of the other performances there. But it's fast, uh, 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon, Sunday, uh, at the time of this recording. And we are in Strongsville, Ohio. And let's see here. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Maybe we just got some intermittent performance issues, but this test must be uh, much better. All right. So 606 down and 42 on the uplink. 22 millisecond ping, 10 millisecond jitter, and no loss on this one. Maybe it changed servers, and that's what we're getting. Uh, let's go ahead and run the video test. Uh, this lets you know how quality the connection is for higher bit rate video all right so you test your lower resolutions than your 1080p's your 1440p's your 4k's uh this is a low mobile blue line so we're on low mobile the death star uh, so this would be at&t business elite qci7 and it's really enjoyable great line of access and of course on the 5g plus you get no restrictions or anything actually that that elite line access is great even if you're on the consumer side, it's really a great experience. All right, and you'll see we are good enough for 2160p with zero buffering. So this is great connection, uh, no video restrictions whatsoever. Uh, let's go over to fast.com and run some testing there and see how it performs while connected to the Netflix servers. All right, so how it performed for video resolution and video connected servers. All right, so we got 580 on the downlink. Let's go ahead and connect here and look at the other metrics. Latency is at 31 milliseconds. And looks like the uplink's again in the 40s. So maybe that first test was a fluke where it was like down around the 10 megabit per second mark. Maybe this is more reflective of what it could do. 36, 37 megabits on the uplink. Good stuff there. All right, so that test is done. Let's go ahead and run the nperf test. Um, and I like Nperf. You get the uh, full speed test launch, and you will see that it tests a lot of other stuff here. So 5G NSA. Got that LT core. <laughs> We're waiting on that SA networking. All right, we got 579 on the downlink with an average of 494. Uplink at 43 megabits with an average of 38. And now it's running the latency test, which, by the way, the... Whatever servers they got going on for NPERF, that stuff is just not good. All right, now it's going to run the browsing test. So it'll go to Google.com, Facebook, Amazon, Zoom, and Wikipedia and give you, like, a time of how long it takes to connect and process that request and that connection. And then um, gives you, like, a quality rating or performance rating. All right, and this is what you're looking for when you connect to N77 C-band. You're looking for 5G Plus from AT&T. Or in Verizon's case, you're looking for 5G UW. And then for T-Mobile, for their mid-band 5G on 41, you're looking for 5G UC. 
All right, now it's running the video test, 360p, 720p, and 1080p. It gives you the loading time. It lets you know if it was buffering, how long it was, and then a performance rating. I like to see these in the 90s for high resolution playback. And like I said, the plan is great. It offers awesome access, very enjoyable. All right, you will see that the performance rating for 360p is the highest at 93, um, and then it drops a little bit with each you know test. But that's a really great score. All right, so there's your performance for the speed testing. 579 down, 43 up, 36 millisecond ping. A total score, performance score of 128, 974. So however they calculate those scores with endpoints. Browsing 81%, streaming 92%. Really good stuff there. All right, so this is kind of like some of my early testing of the AT&T C-Band. N77, they have a 40 megahertz channel, which makes this test really impressive because I frequently see Verizon speed tests in this area as like their max or peak, and they have 60 megahertz of N77. But I think this is a combination of all their LT carriers kind of boosting things, kind of compensating for that 20 megahertz difference. Now, when it goes to SA, it'll be a different story, obviously. Uh, but this is really good stuff here. I really do like what I'm seeing from these first tests. I actually have to go to the site and check to see what the actual gear is. I don't know. It, this is a Nokia market. Um, but again, I, I don't know if they're putting up Nokia gear necessarily or if they're putting up Samsung gear. Uh, they're probably not doing Ericsson. I don't think they are. Uh, but I'll be doing that too. So there'll be some follow-up videos and you guys can check that out. And in order to make sure you're up on those videos, uh, by all means do subscribe and uh you know turn on the bell notifications so you never miss when i do upload content of my early at&t c-band testing and here's a follow-up uh, speed test here for at&t n77 on ookla been really good the downlink's great looks like the uplink is a little bit unpredictable uh this particular speed test here is a little jittery so 531 down 11 up ping 24 millisecond jitter 11 no loss calculated uh, and I, th what are, what kind of server are we connected to here? Let's see here. Uh, let's see what it defaults to. It is connected to an AT&T server. Maybe we'll click on something a little closer. Let's try one with an EverStream. That was, that one's at like 13 miles instead of the, um, AT&T one, which is like 20 plus miles. Let's see if that makes a difference. Nope. Made it worse actually. <laughs> latency didn't change and i don't know if this even matters right like you're going to connect to do your thing with your phone you're not worried about what server you're connected to when you're on ukla plus ukla is supposed to by default pick the most ideal one all right but this test uh whatever 571 down we got like 31 up 32 up 39 ping 9 millisecond jitter and that's on the everstream server anyways comment down below you guys what you uh, think of the testing like what you're seeing early on I do. I like it. Uh, we'll see how they fine tune it. I'll test it some more for the coming weeks and see if it gets better. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.